Hi, it's time for Creative of the Week. We have got uh, up to 503 in This Week in Rust. If we scroll down, we see this utility disk. Kind of this interesting MySpacey type website. Um, you know what I mean? It kind of has this homebrew aesthetic, which I quite like. Um, and uh, let me show you through what is actually happening. Uh, we have a utility here called disk and it prints out information about the um, about the file systems that you have running on your system. So uh, if I use cargo install uh, disk, and I've just done this already, so I am going to add the false flag. It will go and re uh, it will go and install it. And uh, while that's happening, let's go look through some of the features. So it's got this nice ability to pr output JSON, uh, which I think is quite nice if you want to be able to essentially use your uh, program, uh, access your information about your program, your about your file system programmatically. Finally got there. And uh, we can say we've got this query syntax. So disk-f, you know, please specify the file systems that are of type VFAT and also have a size of more than uh, 20 gigs. So I've installed uh, disk from the, uh, from crates.io. You can also just download binaries directly uh, and it's also available inside Arch Linux. So I call disk, I've actually only got two file systems on here. I've got my one terabyte drive and <laughs> and my boot, uh, by my boot drive. So I'm very boring, um, unfortunately. So it's not a great uh, demonstration of the functionality that is available to you, but it shows you a little bit uh, about um, some of the opportunities that you've got available. Do that in a strange way. Uh, <laughs> So have fun playing around with your file system. Hopefully you can interrogate it a little bit more easily now that you have a, uh, now that you've got JSON output. Cool. See you next week for the next crate of the week. The next crate of the week. Bye.